Hey Jeff, how are you? Hey, again, thanks for everything you do for us. A hey, question for you. Um, just went in for x-ray yesterday, uh, potential inguinal hernia. I'll find out next week if I need to go in and uh, have surgery. Wonder if you or any of your subscribers have had uh, experience with it and uh, what I am going to be looking forward to over the next four to six weeks. Everything I've read looks like it's pretty uncomfortable. So uh, I'm not looking uh, forward to it, but it is the only way to um, repair these things. So uh, any help on that would be great. My name is Doug Goldstein out here in El Dorado Hills, California, and this is my Axe Jeff question. Thanks. Hey, Doug, thanks for your Axe Jeff question. So when it comes to hernias, I'm actually the, uh, the expert here on staff of Athlean X because I've already had one, and unfortunately I'm on my uh, way to another. And yes, you should get them repaired. I, a lot of people will wait a long period of time. I know people have waited years to get theirs done. My first one, I waited about three or four years. But progressively, the pain gets more and more, and you run the risk of causing more and more complications, serious complications, that will not only become a lot more life-threatening, believe it or not, but they'll, they'll increase the time that's gonna take you to recover from your, your hernia surgery. So if you go in there electively, as it seems like you are now, that's a good start. As far as what you're gonna to have to do after, it's actually not that bad. There'll be some pain, you're, you're obviously getting an abdominal surgery, so you're, you're gonna have some pain and discomfort in that area, but because of the way they do this, if you're able to get the mesh surgery that they do laparoscopically, all they're doing is basically placing a mesh on the inside of your abdominal cavity that pushes out and covers the hole. If you were to bear down or try to do some sort of, even an ab exercise itself, all you're doing is pushing the mesh further in place with the intra-abdominal pressure that you're generating. So you're actually not running the risk of damaging the repair. So it's always good to know that, okay, the only thing I'm limited by possibly is pain or discomfort. The old way they used to do it is they used to put it on the outside so that if you did push any further, the sutures that were holding the mesh in place did run the risk of actually breaking and you damaging the repair. So what did I do? Two to three days after I was done with my uh, surgery, I was down on the ground doing very, very basic limited core movements. I knew that if I can get my core active, just trying to re-engage and get things woken up down there, that I'd have a better chance of speeding up my recovery, and I firmly believe that I did. I will say though, anything hanging, like a pull-up or forget any type of hanging ab exercises, that took me the longest because we know that as soon as you hold the bar, you better have really good uh, core strength to be able to hold yourself steady. That was just misery for me. So it took me probably about four to five weeks before I can even somewhat hang on a bar and before I can start cranking out pull-ups again, probably about six to seven weeks. But there's no stopping you if you can get in there, do this thing electively and start doing some of these more conservative ab exercises after you're done. Doug, thanks for the question. Guys, remember, this is now a new feature that we have here on this channel. Ask me your question and I'll make sure I get your answer if it's good enough. All right, I'll be back here again in just a few days.